what's up everybody it's me river back again with another video if you're new here my name is river i am here to give you my full honest opinion thoughts um every single thing that i feel about this topic um so i saw this as i was scrolling through instagram obviously as you can see on the shade room um and it's a gentleman who made a post right it looks like it was maybe on facebook or something like that and um, this gentleman said specifically, he said, I asked this woman I've been talking to for a minute for $100. I get a, what do you need it for? When do I need it? When do I get it back? A whole bunch of questions, LOL, right? So her response is like, uh, what you need the money for? When do I get my money back? Um, he said, I planned a trip for us in the mountains in Colorado for four days. The hotel cost per night $200, $200. Whitewater rafting costs $150 per person. Zip lining costs $125 per person. Hot air balloon costs $250 per, per person. SUV rental is $80 a day, not to mention the food costs. I had all of this covered. I just canceled everything and got my deposits back. I didn't need the $100. I was just seeing what type of response I would get if I asked for it. Okay. He was just seeing what type of response he would get if he asked for it. He said, I didn't ask uh, when do I get my money back when I was planning the vacation. I was just handling business. People don't think long-term test failed. Guys. Okay, let me swing the let me swing the braid to the back. Guys, listen. Okay? Please listen. I said this so many times to the ladies. I said whether you know these things or not, men are always testing you. Okay? They know what to do to make you prove yourself if you're a wife or not, if you're supportive or not. If you are uh, feminine or not, classy or not, somebody that's going to be a good mother or not, like they are very well aware of how to articulate themselves, ask questions and find out exactly who it is that they are dealing with. OK, now, first thing that I want to say, too, is that, you know, this gentleman obviously looked out. Right. He looked out because he found out exactly who this person was prior to investing all of this money. Right. Prior to uh, spending all this and, and um, you know, actually going on the trip and maybe bonding with this person and building some kind of relationship or, you know, whatever it is, having fun and all of this stuff that she would have took, you know, amazing pictures for for Instagram. Maybe she would have fooled him into thinking she was somebody else so he won okay so kudos to this gentleman for picking up on this and having the urge to even ask this question prior to spending his you know time hard earned hard earned cash <laughs> money for a woman who is obviously ill deserving clearly clearly and it's so interesting because a lot of women, right, he didn't need the money, okay? He obviously, he said he didn't need the money. He didn't need the money, right? Fine. But a lot of women feel as though they're supposed to be, like their role, okay, is to stand with their hands out and say, give me, give me, give me all you got. My money is my money. Your money is my money. And that's not how a partnership works. Like, that's not how a real relationship works. That's not how a marriage works. Like, both funds com combined is one money. That's first of all. Second of all, it's supposed to be a situation where you can depend on me. I can depend on you. You can depend on me. Regardless of what you need. Regardless of if you really needed the money or not. Regardless of if you planned this trip. I'm going to assist you. You took care of these things. Um, you said he he said plus the cost of food, which means that food cost was obviously not included. You have your money and you say, babe, I'm going to make sure that I 
contribute to this. Let me pay for the food. Let me pay for the food. And I'm also not saying like, let me pay for the food and your offering because you know that he's going to reject you. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying pay for the food. It's a joint vacation. It's a joint trip. A joint space for relaxation. Let's be real. We know that a lot of, you know, high earners and stuff like that, the people that got it like that, millionaires or people who just live extremely comfortably, I understand that, right? I understand that there's going to be situations that, you know, the man just genuinely has more than enough funds to take care of the situation where your money is not necessary and he's going to tell you that he does not need it. But a, a real girl, like a real female, a down female, is going to be like, I got you. Like, regardless, right? Like, he didn't really need the $100, but like, here, let me, let me contribute somehow to show you that I'm not out to just stand here like this. I have your back, too. I want you to have a good time, too. I want you to have relaxation too. It's not a one-way street. And that's where, again, a lot of females get it twisted. Get it very twisted. All I have to say is, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Kudos to this gentleman, right? Again, for not falling for the okie doke. Okay, making sure before he actually goes through with the trip, before they actually get to their destination in Colorado, that this woman is worth and worthy of spending time and space with. We need more women to be genuine, right? Not trying to get flued out. And yes, I know it's that's not the correct term, but that's how, you know, we hear the lady saying it now, getting flued out. Not about that. If it's a good, if you're a good person, then the people who you encounter, you're going to make sure that you're dealing with them accordingly. Not treating them like a bank, like a piggy bank, like, you know, an ATM machine. but actually giving what you, you're you getting. Reciprocation. That's what it's all about. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Again, please leave your comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Love you.